Okay, so 12 millimeter. So we're gonna take these out. And I'm not going to top uh, take the tie wraps loose, but I'm gonna pull this back out of the cam and we can see here that we've got a torn O-ring right here. Now there's two of them, there's one here, and then there's one at the bottom down here. So I need the one, I need to just replace both of them with these O-rings. So we'll take those down and do that. So now that's been separated. So now we're gonna go to the six millimeter hex head. We're gonna start taking these loose. took that one out. So now that's number six. So I'm gonna put that one there. Number five. Number four. Number three. Number two. And number one. Okay. So now we've got to start breaking loose the cam. Sorry, not the cam, the rocker rack. So what we got here is pairs. Two, 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 and then one. This one's a bigger one back here. So that'd be the 18, 16, 18 millimeter. So we're gonna start cutting them loose. Now I'm going to take the front ones out. I'll take out these two. Loosening. You start to see the rack coming loose. Okay, the rack's loose. So in doing this, breaking this loose, you don't want to just take them all loose because you'll cock it one way or the other. So take the front and back out and then kind of go to the middle and start working it back and allow the rack to come up gradually so that you're not stressing the rack. All right, and there's that big 18. So now the rack is loose, but we don't want those rockers all flip-flopping around. So, what we've got here is a piece of angle iron. And, oh, I'm not sure of the length, but basically I cut it so that I can set it in front of the cam gear and line it up with the bolts that, the, uh, that I just pulled out from the uh, rack, and then I've got a couple of these uh, 
bolts that will now go down in here and thread into what I just pulled out. Okay, got the 19 millimeter if I'm not mistaken. So now I'm going to take the 19 millimeter there and I'm going to cinch this down. Okay. Now the rack is loose and the rockers are not going to be flip flopping all around.